Hello, this is Eric Hansen with another seven minute drawing. Um, today we are gonna draw a hyacinth. Um, my neighbors uh, brought me over a little care package the other day. Um, one of my neighbors, uh, Fred, is a botanist. And uh, so he knows a lot about plants and flowers and he knows I like flowers. And uh, he brought me these. The thing about plants, I'm always like terrified that I'm gonna make them die. So, um, you know, the first thing I asked was like, oh, what do I need to do to this? How do I, how do I keep it alive? So don't worry about it. Just, uh, you know, put it in the sun, give it some water. And uh, wow, it's already blooming. One of the uh, challenges about drawing this is that um, the white is gotta be the paper. So that's going to be the part that we kind of leave behind um, and don't fill in. So let's see how this goes. Uh, I've been doing these seven minute drawings. So we are going to set this timer for 5.15 and give ourselves seven minutes. Now, um, you know, everybody can make a drawing. Uh, everybody's drawing is going to be different. Um, if you want to make a Michelangelo drawing, um, uh, amazing, go for it. Um, <laughs> I look at those things and I'm like, they're so technically perfect, um, but they don't have a lot of life to them as far as I'm concerned. I generally like artwork that has, you know, more life to it. So let it be you, um, make it the way you're going to make it right now. Um, doesn't matter how much training you've had, how much you haven't had, uh, don't let those kind of ideas get in the way. Just, uh, do what you want to do. And, you know, uh, your, your flowers are going to be different than my flowers. Um, I was a big fan of the guy, Bob Ross. I don't know if you know who he is, a guy with the great big Afro. He used to make these paintings, these landscape paintings, and he would, he'd be like painting, like, well, now this is how I view the trees. Um, and these are my trees, but your trees are going to look different. And, um, you know, that's the cool thing. Celebrate the difference. Um, let your hyacinth be your hyacinth. And my hyacinth is going to be my hyacinth. Okay, I've talked enough. Uh, let's get started. We'll set it back here to 515. And let's get started. Okay. Um, let's start with some of this green. Uh beautiful right um there and in some ways it kind of gets in the way of the flowers but it sort of defines the flowers as well um okay we've got some more over here more over here we don't have to put it all in right this second we can put some more in later um and then yeah okay we can put more in later but let's see if we can get some of these main leaves more solidly down. That's gonna kind of ground us. Um, so like when I'm drawing this, I can go like, well, where is that in relation to to this leaf? And if I've, I've got this, this green, let's call it a leaf, might have a different word, down, um, then I'm gonna know where to put the white part. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Um, and again, you know, seven minutes, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be a photograph. Um, best thing in these kind of situations, you know, sometimes like I want to erase, I want to make it a little more perfect. You can do that, but try and keep that to a minimum because the thing is, you know, when you erase, that's just taking away more time from, uh, how you're going to delineate these flowers now. One way to do it is to sort of draw the, this is gonna be the background color, all right? So sort of draw the, draw the outlines, the shapes of the flowers with our background color, all right? But instead of filling it in, um, leave, it, leave it blank, okay? Okay, does that make sense? So we're gonna, put the background color around the shape 
All right, we're not gonna put it in the shape. That makes sense? Okay, here we go. Uh, let's give us a try. Okay, we got that part going. That's this part here. Oh, and it's got some yellow in there. That's gonna be fun to add. Okay, uh, let's keep moving. Um, one of the things people talk about when they talk about hyacinths is how they smell. Um, they're kind of overwhelming, uh, beautiful uh, hyacinth flower smell. Well, guess what? I don't have a sense of smell. <laughs> um, I have a really screwed up sense of smell, so I'm not smelling these. Um, it's unfortunate because I want to know what a hyacinth smells like. People are always talking about that. Um, I've had some hyacinths in my apartment earlier uh, over the winter and uh, earlier this spring, but um, you know, I just never got to smell them because uh, that's not part of <laughs> who I am. Um, I just, I have a really screwy sense of smell. I had a concussion a number of years ago and uh, with that, that really um, had a funny effect on my sense of smell. So that's just who I am. Okay, how are we doing on time here? Oh, four minutes we've taken. So we've got three minutes left. Okay, maybe I should uh, stay a little more focused on the hyacinth and stop talking so much. Hmm, that's going to be hard to do. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. Well, we're not bad. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's fill this in. This is, um, I use these kind of, these watercolor pencils. They look like colored pencils and they find they're fun. They function like colored pencils as well. But the other cool thing you can do is, um, once you lay down the, the colored pencil part, you can go over them with a wet brush and then it turns into this like, uh, delicate watercolor. Beautiful, right? Um, and so really all we're doing here, right? We are just filling in the background, all right? We're making sure we leave white flower spaces. And uh, I hope we can get to this glass um, because I think that's a really cool vase, whatever. I uh, used to work for this photographer and um, he had all these amazing things like this. We had all these beautiful glass uh, vases that he used for shoots. And um, a lot of times he would just want to clean out and get rid of things. And so then I became the uh, grateful recipient. Okay, so let's give these flowers maybe a little more shape. Shade them in a little bit. What else can we do here? Um, all right. Uh, gosh, I wonder if when people are looking at these, if they can imagine what they smell like. <laughs> I told you I don't have a sense of smell, so I really don't know what these smell like. But that aspect of it really interests me because uh, some of the things I would show in my first art shows, I've had 11 solo shows. Um, I had my first shows in Minneapolis when I was 18 and 19. And um, I was interested in photographing things that you can't see. Um, and at a certain point, I was photographing smells and sounds. So this aspect of um, I'm making a drawing of this thing that uh, is supposed to have like a really delicious smell, though I can't smell it, um, does kind of interest me. So let's see. Oh, we're very close here. Okay. There's some green up there. And down there, and let's fill in this pot, and that's going to be pretty much black, dirt color, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens there. Yeah, okay, that looks like dirt. Yeah, beautiful. And now let's see if we can just make the shape of the glass vessel. All right. Beautiful. 
beautiful down there and that's going to be pretty dark inside there cool and let's just fill in this black make this the same color as the wall back there and oh there we go all right <laughs> Just under the wire. There's some hyacinths. Um, if you guys want to draw something on your own and send it to me, I'd love to see what you're drawing. Um, if you want me to give you a little critique, I can do that. Just uh, send me your, your drawing. Uh, my name is um, Eric Hansen, and my email is supremehansen at gmail. Okay, have a good one.